Hello, and welcome to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we are mastering the measure tool. We're talking about split measures today, and what I mean by split measures is, you know, sometimes you might have something like this where you've got some sort of cadenza here, and you may want to split half of this measure uh, to go down to the second system. So that's what we're talking about. We want, we're going to split this measure into two pieces. Now, there's a couple ways to do this, and um, they're very different. Uh, one of them's a little clunky, in my opinion. And, uh, but they both have their advantages and disadvantages. So let me just sort of show you what this is. So I'm in the measure tool. I'm going to go into the measure attributes here. And we're talking about this bottom option here called allow horizontal split points. And when I select that and press OK, nothing happens yet. But um, what will happen is you'll see a third handle appear on the, on the right bar line below the, the first two handles. And when you select that third handle, you'll get this sort of horizontal box to appear above the measure. Now from here, all you need to do is double click into that uh, box and you'll get another handle to appear. Now this handle can be grabbed and you can move it around and wherever you place it, that's where the split point is going to be uh, when you split this measure in half. So uh, you, you just kind of have to be very careful about dragging this to the correct place because I found that even between notes, where you place it actually kind of uh, makes a difference as to where the... Um, how the notes are spaced at the end in the beginning of, of the system. So I found that you want to get pretty close to the, the first beats of the, uh, the next system. Um, once you have this uh, handle here, by the way, you can just select it and delete it. Again, double click adds it. So, uh, so now we've got a horizontal split point and we exit out of here and still nothing has happened. We still have just this one bar on the first system here. But with the selection tool, you select that bar and press the down arrow and now all of a sudden it splits that measure into two pieces right at that split point. And uh, normally when you press the down arrow, it would move the entire measure down to the second system. But in this case, it just moves the, the second half down to the second system in this case. So um, once you've done this, though, pressing up, down doesn't do anything. It doesn't recombine these measures or anything. So you're kind of stuck with it like this. The only way to actually undo it is to go back into the measure attributes and uncheck allow horizontal split points. And then it will combine that again, although it might put it on the second system here. So you can just uh, shoot it up to the top again. All right, so that's sort of, I, I believe that's kind of the old way that Finale created to do this. Um, uh, it is an interesting way to do it. There's definitely some issues with it that I kind of want to point out. First is that, actually, let me go ahead and do something here. I'm going to add a chord in this left-hand part. We're going to do um, a dotted whole note tied to a whole note tied to a dotted half note. There we go. And um, depending on where this split point is, um, if it happens to be sort of in the middle of where you know, the notes are in a tie, um, some strange things will happen when you split this measure. You know, you'll get the <laughs> you'll get the whole note with a tied note here, but then th th there's no tie in the second system, which is just looks incorrect, and there's like a beat here of nothing happening. It's, it's just, it doesn't really work for me very well uh, in that regard. Um, the other issue is that you'll get some weird results with the bar rests, like you won't see bar rests in, in all the other parts. So, you know, that's kind of strange. And then also even probably maybe even stranger is that the bar numbers will get put in the wrong place. You'll have no bar number at the beginning of bar three, but it will appear on the second half of bar three, which is just seems kind of wrong to me. Um, but anyway, so that's one way to do the split measures is with that uh, allow horizontal uh, split position. But let me just uncheck that for now. And uh, the second way, and I think a little bit slicker, is to actually uh, create two frames. Now, as I've been talking a little bit about in this series, you know, Finale manages measures as frames, right? So all the way up and down the score is a single frame. And uh, so what we can do here is actually split this into two separate frames. And that involves sort of changing the time signature, um, hiding the time signatures, um, you know, putting the, the second bar on the second sys or the second half of the bar on the second system, all this stuff. I could do that manually, but there's a great little plugin uh, in the measures section here called split measure, which will do this exactly the way I want it to. 
and it's really easy to use this utility. You just have to decide after what beat would you like to split the measure. So in this case, uh, yeah, sure, measure. Let's go actually one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, after measure six, that works. And you can choose to a bar line style either invisible or dashed if you want. And you also have the option to move that second part of the split measures to the next system. And I've got invisible and move selected here, so check OK. And you'll see that it will actually split that measure for me. And it's a little bit better. The spacing is going to be a little bit better because, again, Finale is, is better just at thinking in terms of frames. So this is actually going to be spaced out correctly. Um, and uh, you'll see that it handles the ties correctly now. The tie is correctly tied to the, um, to the note here. And actually, what's really cool about this is if I were to split this in a different place, let me just show you this. Let's say I'm going to split it after beat four instead. Uh, which is going to be in the middle of this dotted whole note, by the way. You'll see that Finale will actually calculate this correct. So it turned that dotted whole note into a whole note and then added a half note down here so with a tie and everything. So it actually kind of is a little bit slicker in that regard uh, in terms of dealing with the ties. Um, the other thing it does is that it will um, change all of the rests for you. So in this case, it's actually putting in a, uh, a I don't know what that is, uh, eight, uh, six, nine measure, uh, nine beat rest or something like that. So, um, you know, that's an interesting piece of it that you may or may not want. And I believe that these are actually real, yeah, they're, they're actually real whole rests here. So if you needed to get rid of that, you could actually just select those empty measures and press delete, and that will actually... Uh, turn those into um, whole rests, which of course is strange in its own way because it's not actually a you know a whole bar rest in bar three and the second half of bar three. It's it should just be one piece, but it you know you kind of have to decide what you're doing when you're dealing with uh, rests and split measures like this. The other thing that it will do correctly compared to the other way is that it will put the measure number in the right spot. So now that we have measure number three down here, but there's nothing on this half of measure three. And the next measure number we see is bar four. So that's actually, you know, much more correct. Again, there's, <laughs> you know, good, good and bad things to both of these techniques. Here's one of the bad ones, is that if you go to the part, uh, you'll see something like this. So now I've got measure one, two, three, three, four, five. Um, I guess if you go to a part that ha has rest through those measures, this is where the problem exists. And, um, you know, if you try to combine this into a multi-measure rest, this should be five bars, but again, Finale considers this six bars, so you're going to get a six-measure multi-measure rest. So this is a, a big disadvantage of uh, splitting the measures in this manner. Uh, oops. Um, go back to the score here. Um, so you just have to sort of consider uh, what's the best option. Incidentally, using the first method, using the horizontal split points, you don't have that problem in the parts. Um, it, it'll look like five measures and when you um, add a multi-measure rest here it will be five measures so uh, that's actually one advantage to using the horizontal split points but um, I still kind of prefer to do the uh, the um, uh, the plug-in for this and uh, it's interesting to know what goes under on under the hood so again this is actually two separate frames here right and if we look at the measure attributes for both of them this first one you'll see is using an invisible bar line. That's basically all there is to it. The second half of it, the interesting thing is that it's unchecked the include in measure numbering, right? This is what's allowing the uh, the measure number region to skip over this sort of half bar here. So it goes one, two, three, skip measure four, five, et cetera, and on its merry way. So that's that's another um, uh, advantage of doing that with the uh, plugin is that it will take care of that automatically. In addition, I mentioned that it, you have to do something with the time signatures. So in this measure, it changed it back to 4-4. Four, four, but in this measure, it changed it to 9-4. Originally, this was a 13-4 uh, measure, I believe. Uh, so that's you know, one more advantage. So again, it will take care of the ties correctly. It will take care of the um, you know, all the measure attributes and everything. And uh, let me just, if I keep undoing, I can get back to original here. There we go. The last thing I want to mention about this plugin is that it's actually kind of handy if you want to do something slightly different. So let's go into the measures split measure plugin. Uh, I mentioned that you could use a dashed bar line. You could also not move it to the second uh, uh, system here. And uh, let's say we're going to put this after uh, beat eight, for example, and click OK. And Finale will nicely put that dashed bar line in the middle of this, and it will actually go ahead and um, split that whole note for you as well, uh, which is probably makes sense. 
but um, you know, so this is a this is a great way to just qu kind of split the measure in half in this manner, where you get the dash bar line. And again, uh, measure three, nothing in measure four, measure four. I mean, as far as bar numbers are concerned, and it's the same exact thing. This measure has the include in measure numberings unchecked, and uh, measure three just has the dashed bar line selected. So, um, so that's what's going on there. Um, and yeah, so I think that's you know that's the idea behind splitting measures. There's a couple different ways to do it. Again, there's advantages and disadvantages to both, but um, you know, you kind of have to choose based on what the context of what you're doing. If you're doing a piano score and there's no other parts, sometimes using that horizontal split um, option in the measure attributes might not be so bad, um, but uh, you know, it just depends on the context. So anyway, so that's how you split measures uh, across systems in Finale or split measures uh, on the system with dashed bar lines if you want to do it that way. And uh, so, yeah, so I hope that's helped. Uh, thanks for watching and come back soon and we'll talk about some more videos. All right. See you then.